Good morning from AfricaCom 2025 here in Cape Town. I'm together with Pablo Cataportis, VP Africa at SES. Good morning, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, thanks for having me. You're welcome. AfricaCom 2025, what are you showcasing? What are the, let's say, the key themes of your presence here? Okay, listen, this is the first time we are here at AfricaCom as the new SES with the new brand. True. So we are really excited about this. We are showing for the first time, you know, the, the multi-European capabilities that we have. So today, as SES, we can provide services on Geo, Leo, and Mio all together. So basically what we are trying to do is, uh, what we are saying is that uh, approaching our customers with this multi-orbit solution, integrating uh, these capabilities, just to make sure that we deliver the right orbit, the right uh, service, uh, for the right application. Mm -hmm. So what are the biggest opportunities of this, let's say, three package of solutions? Well, we see a lot of growth in, in the region or with, uh, with the MNOs on the cell backhaul side. Mm -hmm. So this is a market that is definitely growing. Uh, we have in the region a big presence. Uh, we have platforms in South Africa. We have platforms in uh, DRC. We have platforms in Nigeria. Uh, where we are managing uh, all these, you know, uh, CVH services. On top of this, uh, we can also uh, customize our service for the customers in all different countries. Uh, so this is uh, for sure our biggest, you know, growth uh, vertical. And we are doing a lot with, uh, with different integrators, ISPs in the region, uh, providing services for, uh, for enterprise. Mm -hmm. So when we look at satellite, the satellite is again in a new high in the, in the, less than the current, the last 12 months as well. So where do you see the biggest opportunities of satellites to help to connect the unconnected, especially taking into consideration the unique geographical, let's say, structures we have across the continent? Okay, I'm glad you, you asked this question. Uh, listen, in terms of this is one of our you know, main uh, scope, you know, yeah. connecting and connected in the region and we are looking at digital inclusion. We have many projects in the region. One of them is uh, uh, WITACR, Peace and Development Initiatives, where we are connecting today 10, uh, 10 uh, schools in Uganda, in South Sudan. Mm -hmm. So we are, you know, looking at this part of also, you know, of, of the business and I mean, connecting the, the unconnected is, is part of our strategy, definitely. So we can say that satellite still plays a crucial role in the empowerment journey of Africans continent. Absolutely, absolutely. So today this is not, satellite is not about going into uh, rural places only. Yeah. Uh, it's about, uh, you know, integrating our capabilities with the MNO, with the MNO core. So now we can, we can talk the 5G, 5G language. Uh, so the idea is to integrate this uh, into the MNO uh, network uh, to increase re resiliency. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is important for us. So you recently got nominated from the WPDI initiative. Can you tell us a bit more about uh, the nomination and, and what the impact you tried to achieve there? Absolutely, so we have several you know, initiatives just like this. This one is with uh, Forest Whitaker, so Whitaker uh, Peace and Development Initiatives connecting uh, schools in, uh, in Uganda yeah. and South Sudan. So yes, tonight we will have, you know, the Changing, we've been nominated to the Changing Lives Award. All right. Uh, so this is going to be tonight. We are really excited about this. We have, Fingers crossed. Absolutely, absolutely. We have all other initiatives in this sense. Um, uh, we've been, you know, with Max IQ, also a partnership here in, in, in South Africa. Okay. Uh, just facilitating trainings. Uh, you know, the science, math, yeah. uh, technology. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is this part of our strategy and support that we want to, to provide in the region. So, so what is your perfect outlook for Africa in the next five years? I think it's, uh, what we want to do is to, to do more with the MNOs, to do more on the cell backhaul uh, side of the house, <laughs> is to do more to develop the enterprise business with our key strategic partners. Mm. Uh, and we see big opportunities, you know, across the region, whether it's uh, West Central Africa, the East and South. Yeah. Uh, so there is a lot of things that, that we can do. Not that we can uh, also manage service, that we can, we have hands on the ground, right. that we can provide, you know, support. Yeah. 
uh, this is important for us. One key word for us is also um, uh, sovereignty. And this is why we are doing business for Africa in Africa. So local presence remains a key for your strategy? Absolutely. We have three different offices in South Africa, in Dakar, in uh, Ethiopia. Yeah. Uh, we are monitoring our services from a knock in the region. So absolutely, presence is, is, is key for us. Wonderful. Very insightful conversation. Thanks for your time. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Mm, thank you. My pleasure. That was Tech Africa News from Africacom 2025. We can find more on techafricanews.com.